What's going on YouTube? This your boy Jehovah. Just checking in once again, man, on this Saturday cold, Saturday cold, Saturday cold, Saturday. But anyway, man, I gotta talk about my my hometown, my state, but most definitely my hometown, my city, Jackson, Mississippi, man. Well, we just got another one. We got Kevin Coleman, the top four receiver in the nation. Chose to go to Jackson State University, bro. I'm so happy to see that, man. I'm so happy to see more and more um, of black students choosing to go to a all-black college instead of going to a PWI all the time. Um, There's nothing wrong with going to a PWI college, but it does feel good to see, you know, black athletes choosing to play for black schools. I think that's the most dopest thing in the world. I promise. And shout out to Deion Sanders too, man. Um, I live in Dallas, Texas. And uh, even though I'm from Mississippi, but I moved to Dallas. But just seeing, you know, someone like Deion come to Jackson, Mississippi, man, and and bring money to the city. You know, just him alone, man. I think the city made $30 million. Now, it might seem small to y'all, especially from a big city, but... I think Jackson got like 90,000 people. They say a hundred, over a hundred thousand people that live in um, Jackson. So, uh, shout out to Dion, man. And uh, we got, we got us one. We got us one. Yeah, Kevin Coleman, man. You know, he doing his thing. From what I understand, he was, he's like a dope player too. Like one of the good players. So, he could have went to any school, but he chose what? To come to Jackson State University. Man, I think. The longer Dion is with the uh, with the HBC HBCU school, the longer Dion um, continues to coach in the swag division and stuff like that. Man, I think we're gonna have more more um, football players, uh, and maybe even basketball players that come to HB swag schools or HBCU schools and stuff like that. Man, this is a good look. Shout out to the kids. Shout out to the kid. You know, for coming and why not come to Jackson State. You have a head coach that was one of the top wide receivers, you know what I'm saying, in NFL when he played. And I think that'll be a good look for the young man to then he can, you know, grab some pointers from Dion. I think Dion's son played for Jackson State also. Uh, man, this is a good look for HBCUs, I ain't gonna lie. It's bringing more money, more attention. Um, and we're getting back to what it used to be back in the day. See, back in the day, the NFL used to have to come to these HBCUs, HBCUs, you know what I'm saying, watch talent, like great football players, man, come out of HBCU schools, you know, especially out of SWAC. You know, they're especially like Grambling, like schools like Grambling, man, they used to produce some of the greatest players also, you know, in uh, with the football program. So Southern, Jackson State, um, any other school I miss, you know, that's HBCU, HBCU. Uh, black college, you know, um, there's a lot of great players come out of there. Even Jerry Rice, one of the greatest wide receivers ever, they ever played, came out of um, Valley. He went to Valley State University, and he was like one of the greatest. So uh, I think it's another guy, uh, Jimmy Smith. I might be saying his name wrong. He went to Jackson State, I think. I might be saying that wrong. <clears throat> but anyway, a lot of talent come out of black colleges, man. And I see a lot of um, white, white, Caster's mad at it, you know. Like I heard one, I think Doug Godley, I think that's his name. He was saying that uh, because the student chose Jackson State, he was saying like how the facilities at black colleges is poor and run down. Maybe true. We don't get funding. That's true. But now we got the funding now, so now we about to upgrade our facilities. We about to have better facilities now. What they gonna say now? They just just just. I think some of these some of these on. Um, sportscasters especially the particular ones the white ones i think they just used to having their way they used to having their way all the time especially dealing with like black players coming to pwi schools and stuff like that and they used to you know having the power because now because at one point for the last almost what 20 years i think i've seen an increase of like a lot of black like great black players going to these white colleges so now I see the hammer is swinging back to the black colleges now. And I think a lot of um, white people, especially boosters or whatever, they feel some type of way about it. But knowing the system, knowing how the system works, you know they're going to throw a wrench in the game, black people. They're going to throw a wrench in the game like they always do. They're going to say, they're going to try to dig up something Deion Sanders did that all coaches do, but they're just going to magnify it with him. 
They gonna find some some somebody stole a dollar from a HBCU school. You know how they gonna do it. So in in turn, y'all, we're gonna have to be strong. We're gonna have to stand with our HBCU brothers and sisters. Um, stand behind Deion Sanders and uh, shout out to everybody, man. We got to we got us one. Peace out, man. Everybody have a good one, and I talk to you later.